Hello everyone, welcome to not Christmas, but we're still in the hospital. I got out of the basement, uh, spooky stuff happened, there's a door open. I guess I have no choice but to follow where it goes. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that and, uh, oh no, there's, there's a battle. Ratman and Flyman. I know it's what you've always been waiting for. I'm gonna take care of this rat man because quite frankly they are the worst out of the two. They have that little glowing ball orb that goes berserk, explodes. I don't wanna deal with that. It's annoying. Flyman, I can deal with Flyman. Flyman's not too bad. I would get a lot of these battles, but you know, I take care of them pretty quick. He can't do anything because Tranquilizer obviously is pretty badass. It's a nice ass effect to have on your gun. I like having it. I like taking advantage of that. Medicine too. Also, they go pretty quick. Not gonna lie. I haven't really been trying to level grind or anything. I've just been doing what I can. All patience. I don't know about YouTube. I'm getting out. Why were you here in the first place? Were you like super not able to evacuate? Also... Uh, I, I, Miss Nussbaum? Nussbaum? Uh, what about your medication? It's no use to me. Good point. Uh, but why are you guys, like, not evacuated? I mean, I guess I could understand the doctor, Hippocratical Oath, uh, had to treat the patient. Why couldn't the patient leave? I got so many questions, but whatever. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Uh,. You're just gonna stay here. I mean, that's fine. I gotta go take care of a nurse because you mentioned there's a nurse trap somewhere. That's fine. Maybe they're in here. Maybe I can do a little rescue mission. Quite frankly, I can deal with the flyman, like I said. Not the worst. Uh, these amoebas, though. So those two are pretty chill now. I guess I'm just gonna deal with you and then start taking care of all of you guys. They're nothing special. I know, this is probably the most lackluster whole entire part I've ever done. It's just, there's not much I can really add other than, uh, welcome to Parasite Eve. You go around, you do some battles, you get a little bit stronger, I get poisoned, but, you know, whatever, it is what it is. I'm still fighting an infection, but that's because... I've been doing all these parts in one day ever since part 12, I think. So, you know, this is part 14, if I'm not mistaken. I'm doing alright, just taking my medicine. Speaking of medicine, I should probably take some. Oh, this room. I've seen it in flashbacks. You're getting one, eh? Uh, uh, yeah, you've been here. What were you doing? Well, you know, you were a little kid. The ghost hallucinations that you've been having... They've kind of been triggered uh, because, you know, this room, things, stuff. Hey, it's one of those little ghost blonde haired girl, who, two of them, twins. That doctor looks familiar. Uh, one. There's only one twin. That's right, there's, there's two of them. Uh, if you don't know, I had a twin sister. Her name was Maya. Aya and Maya. I guess it is Aya. Because, you know, um, Aya and Maya, they rhyme. And you just take out the M. I mean, there you go. So, maybe it's not Aya, it's, it's Aya. I thought I was done for, thanks. Uh, glad to help, but, you know, you, you gotta get out here, nurse. It's dangerous. There's all sorts of crazy creatures. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, oh, where's where's the sperm bank? Supply of liquid nitrogen, cause uh, that stuff has an expiration date. Got it, got it. Uh, also, the green key card. I totally need that. There was a locked door. Couldn't do anything with that. Guess I can't shoot it, cause it's bulletproof or something. Kind of weird for a hospital, but I, I guess I shouldn't question it. That or maybe it is not quite a wild card like uh, what? Oh. I thought the game froze. Here, the nurse just had to advance the dialogue. Everyone's either dead or evacuated. I think I'll choose the latter. Okay, great. Fantastic. The role is now unimportant. I don't I don't give a crap. 
go do what you do. And I guess there's nothing left in this room, so I guess I will take my leave as well. Also, is the doctor here? Did she, he, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a female doctor. I guess they evacuate too. Great. Is that a brain? Uh, the third picture looks like a chest x-ray. I guess it's not important. No one cares about the small details. It's really not important in the slightest. I'm just observing all these crazy little details. Oh, hey, it's the doctor. Can you tell? Uh, because sperm has an expiration date. Oh, right. Not just talking about sperm. Uh, you can freeze off warts. Oh, that's cool. Is that is that legit? Uh, okay. Yeah, like I was saying, sperm has an expiration date, so you gotta freeze it, so it extends the longevity. I still assume there's a little bit of an expiration date on it, but you know, it's it's has it has a higher rate of success in storage. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't have time for an explanation. I just need to go there because uh, we gotta prevent some monster from getting Pragers. Uh, yeah, okay, got it. Thirteen, whatever. Gonna look around, see if anything needs medical attention like other patients. I mean, that's cool, I guess. You should really evacuate, get everyone else out of here. It's not safe. Because I feel like if anyone else was still here, they would have gotten their face mauled or, you know, been burnt to Chris. Speaking of which, patient, nurse, and doctor, you all should have been dead by now. Combusted into flames. Because isn't that how it works? I mean, why are you even still whole and alive and walking around? I mean, that's not how Parasite Eve usually works. She, she just comes, kills everyone, and they're dead. I guess I asked too many questions, but it, it kind of feels like a plot hole, doesn't it? I mean, media at the beginning was like, Oh, I, I can't do this because uh, I'm, I'm a burn. Otherwise, he'd be in here with me, just exploring around, saying, Hey, I'm gonna stay here, go look at this little... That is a giant amoeba. And it lunges. Great. Also, I can't... It doesn't look like... Oh, man. It... I was gonna say, it doesn't look like I can put it to sleep, but I just realized... Uh... It took off a shit ton of health. So before I die, allow me to heal up massively because not dying would be the best. I'm still okay. I just gotta get out of the way and shoot it. I did it good. I did it good. I got haste. That is fantastic. That's that's a pretty good ability. I'll probably never use it, but it's a pretty good ability if I ever remember to use it. Because it's going to make battles go that much quicker. Excuse me for a second. I got to go turn this knob. So allow me to uh, pick this up. I got to turn one of these. I know I got to turn one of these. I'm not crazy. <coughs> now then. Uh, that, that was crucial. I don't think anything explains do that, but just just trust me, it's crucial we did that. It, it'll come into play much later. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Cause I mean, why why would I? Also, you know, giant amoeba. Now that I think about it, I should probably get some medicine action going. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, question: Where do I go? Is it the elevator? It's totally the elevator. I need I need to go up. I need to go up to the higher floor so I can get to the sperm bank so uh, I, I can have a fantastic good old time dealing with uh, all the nonsense that Eve has given me. 13th floor. There we go. Advancing the plot. Let's go. Let's do it. Turning that... Turning that... Love... Turning that... That what is it? Nozzle? It's a nozzle. Why weren't again? Those guys got burnt to crisp. Why was everything else perfectly fine? Oh, 
foreshadowing. I don't know if I can acknowledge that, but you see how the thing is glowing and it looks like it's super crazy. Uh, there's a reason for that, but we won't get to that until New Game Plus. Uh, I won't be doing a whole entire New Game Plus experience, but I will be showing something off in New Game Plus. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Until then, we got, I guess you could say a mini-boss. A, a giant, really fucked up Chimera thing. I don't know how else to explain it other than, yeah, just, just giant fucked up Chimera thing. Uh, I want to take care of its ball, though. Uh, also, the balls are really annoying to deal with. Good thing for tranquilizers. Now I can kind of focus on things individually. Gotta deal with that. Okay. I'm gonna deal with both of these things. Probably no point in doing such, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna deal with this little mini boss guy. Oh, did I did I put it to sleep? That's fantastic. Is it just me or does it sound like it's mooing like a cow every time I shoot it? Is it part bovine? Actually, now that I think, now that I look closer upon it. It looks like it does have kind of a hoof. How bizarre. So, I, I guess maybe it is part bovine. Also, it looks like it may have been a patient at one time. Or maybe I'm looking too far into that. I don't know. It, it's pretty fucked up. It's like a Cronenberg type of creation. I, I don't know. That's, that's what I'm getting. It's pretty. It's pretty crazy. Ooh, I could probably. I could probably make use of that. What the heck is this? Ah, haha. <laughs> you see, I see a. Uh, I see an arrow, and I need to figure out how I can move this. Ah, uh, you wanna. You wanna. Give me a second, everybody. Oh, of course, I have to acknowledge the sign. I have to acknowledge the sign so I can actually do that. Got it. I, I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew there was a thing. I knew I had to press this button. I just had to acknowledge that, oh, there's an arrow saying this. Is that a kennel? Why would they keep a kennel up here? For what reason? Are they doing some sort of lab experiment on rabbits or something? Because that looks more like it's a cage for a dog. Kind of, it's kind of fucked up, man. What kind of horrible experiments have you been doing in this hospital, uh, doctor, director, whatever? Also, we got a mini one of those things. We got a rat man. I'm not too crazy about the rat man, gotta be honest. Also, this, this is pretty cha chaotic right here. Just gotta say that right here, right now. Because there's a lot of things flying all over the place. Oh, I cannot handle all these little bouncing balls all over the place. So I gotta heal up when I get a chance. Guess I'll take care of you. Oh, this... Man, those things are like super balls. Anyways, I, I've kind of, I kind of run out of like things to say about these. I, I I think I'm gonna go back to starting to cut some battles because I mean it's getting a little annoying. Not much to say about this. It's got a little. It, I don't know. It's, all I can really say is this thing is like an abstract painting. It's just trying to figure out the meaning behind it. I don't understand. I mean, it's a mitochondria creature. Eve created it from from multiple things. I take it, but whatever. 
Uh, any thoughts? Uh, yeah, you know, that would be a good idea. You know, ask the audience what they think. What the heck is it? What do you know? Or, what do you notice about it? Also, kennels? You know, I was just saying something about the the previous part, but why the fuck are there are all these cages? What kind of animal testing are they doing? Because it seems pretty fucked. Uh, also, there's a giant tub. I don't get it. What am I supposed to- what is the takeaway from all this? What kind of animal testing are they doing here? I I'm not happy about it. I mean, it looks way too large for lab rats. Or even for that fact, lab mice, because, you know, I don't know if rats are a common practice. I know mice are, because they're cheap. And that... Was it the FDA or... Yeah, I think it's the FDA. Like, they seem to be like, you know, it's, it's okay. Even though, you know, you figure there'd be some sort of violation against animal rights, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not questioning it. The medical field is not my forte. Uh, also, can I stop being hit by these little bouncy super balls? Why do you keep spawning them? What the heck are they? What kind of what kind of bi biomaterial is that made out of? Legitimate question. Being that I have to figure out something to talk about. I mean, what kind of what kind of biomaterial bounces like that? It's pretty weird, if you ask me. Granted, again, Cronenberg-type monster there, but at the same time, uh, it spawns little balls. Why? Little chess with ammo. Why? Again, I pick out. Uh, I pick up so much ammo, kind of become pointless. I guess I gotta clear out my inventory. I'll be right back. All right, in this chest. Oh, oh boy, I cleared out some room so I could get myself a movement cure, artificial sperm. Uh, oh yeah, small little detail, Hans Klomp, you know Dr. Klomp, the guy at the museum. Uh, I, I guess this is where I'm supposed to be shocked and like he's involved and, and things, but he already kind of sold himself out on this whole entire thing. So, I guess I'll just have to read this file. Get some junk. Uh, good, good thing I cleared my inventory. Uh, also, you got that HL or HLA list. You know, the thing that talks about organ transplants. Uh, yeah, same thing on Han's computer. Uh, patient records. Mariko Bria. Yeah, that's Aya's mother. <laughs> She was in the movie slash book. Uh, she, she was the she was the supposed victim of mitochondria. Even that whole entire thing. Maya Bria is Aya's sister. Uh, she she died. So that that's really all there is to that. A uh, li little bit of a plot dump. Also a little glowing thing here. Melissa Pierce. She was sick. Um, emergency hospitalization in 1977, operation successful, uh, six months after release, she needs medication, Melissa and Meyer were brought, oh, hey, so there's some sort of major coincidence, elevator key, uh, something's involved, it's all connected, you can already tell, well, either way, I'm gonna save... And then I'm gonna end the part because it's been a pretty, it's been pretty much a whole entire part. We're almost done with the hospital. In the next part, you know, we'll totally, we'll totally finish it up. It'll be good. We're on day four. I guess each chapter does take place on a day, so uh, it falls according to this. It's four days after Christmas. Uh, I think it's the 20, 28th. So yeah, in accordance to this whole entire LP and and the days in which this takes place after Christmas on 1997, it's December 28th. I, I have no idea why I'm trying to make the connection.